Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about the between boolean operator. The between boolean operator is like a little bit special and cool. It, it is going to act on uh, two values of a uh, table column. It returns true if the column values or records are between those two numbers. And this uh, operator is something that is called an inclusive operator. What it means is it is going to grab the boundary numbers as well, and it is going to include them in the returned result set. So I'm just going to close this table for now. So uh, let's go ahead and let's let's say uh, let's go to departments. This is easy. So you can see we have department ID all the one all the way to 11. Now the way it works is it's going to grab let's say you want to pass you want to grab all the department names starting from one to five so how can you do that this is the best operator to tackle that job so we are going to say select from which table is it it is it is the departments table i'm going to alias it at d as d and then we are going to say where so of course it's going to be in the where clause so where now in front after the where i'm going to specify the call remember so this between it has to work on a specific column so i'm going to say d dot uh, department department underscore id so it's going to work on that and um, what are the values so the values are between oops between uh, let's say one and five well, uh, this is like this is getting like a little bit out of hand. So I'm just gonna put them on one line. So I'm gonna put that on one line, and I'm gonna say between one and, oops, and five. Let's terminate that. What do we want to grab? We want to grab, let's say, only the department name. So d dot uh, department name. Let's save that. So what is it going to give us? It is going to give us two, three, and four. We know that it is going to give us two, three, and four because they are in they are within one, two, five. But because this is an inclusive operator, it is going to give us one and five as well. So we are going to get web development all the way to shipping. Let's run this. There we go. Web development all the way to shipping. So this is the first example. I'm sure you know how this works. I'm going to give you another example as well just to provide you with some more practice. So in here, uh, we are going to go into our jobs table, which I don't think we have worked with it yet. And what do we want to do here? So I'm just going to grab all of this and I'm going to uncomment these. What is it that we want to do? Let's say we want to grab uh, the minimum salary that is between like let's say 10,000 and 20,000. So we have a minimum salary column and a maximum salary column. Let's say I want to grab the minimum salary that is between 10,000 and 20,000 and I want to find out what are the job titles, what are the positions associated with the minimum salary starting from 10,000 to 20,000. So if you feel like you can do it, I'm sure you can do it. Pause the video and attempt it. And I'm just going to attempt it right now. So, uh, which table is it? It is the jobs table. I'm going to alias it as J. J the, uh, dot. And let's just grab the job title. So, where J, oops, J dot, where the condition is going to be applied on. It is going to be applied on men underscore salary. So, it is between 10,000 uh and 20,000 now one one thing before actually running this query you can see this and uh operator you can change it to or so uh combining this between and and or or operators you can come up with like very sophisticated search results very sophisticated conditionals and you can grab almost any kind of data extract any kind of data from this helali db database based on this knowledge that you have right now let's run this so we know that the president 
administrative vice president and sales manager salaries are between 10,000 and 20,000. And we can retrieve the salary as well. So we, are, we can say j.men salary. Let's run it. There we go. So one is 20,000. You can see that because it's inclusive, it got 20,000 and 10,000. Of course, 15 is just in between them. This is going to be it for this lecture. See you in the next one.